guys welcome to my channel vinyl beauty or welcome back i'm debbie if you don't know me so today's video is going to be a full face get ready with me it's been probably five weeks i think since you've seen me on youtube so thought it would be fun just to have a bit of a catch up and to use some things that are newer in my collection but not necessarily new items and then some older things as well so it's going to be a bit of a shop my stash kind of style thing so if you want to just hang out with me find out what i've been up to and some plans for my channel in the future as well then let's just dive straight into the video okay i've brought you in a bit closer so we're going to do a full face as i say and i've got a foundation to to use on camera that i've not used before now i picked this one up at the airport because i wanted a stick foundation to take on my holiday to Gran canaria I wanted the tom ford couldn't get it so i ended up with this one from bobby brown now i'm never going to get somebody to shade match me again because it really isn't my color but I had no other option while I was away but to use it so I made it work so I'm going to show you what I did because I think it must have happened to everybody that you you end up with a colour that perhaps doesn't match your skin tone or you've perhaps got a summer foundation you want to wear it still in the winter whatever so I thought this could be fun to to use today so it's a really nice consistency it's a matte foundation but it's not too matte but it is really too dark for me and I think what went wrong is that they did the shade match on my hand and the back of my hand is browner than my face. I already had makeup on so I didn't get them to to do it on my face which was a schoolgirl error. I should have known better because it's fairly expensive. But I'm not one to give up on a product so I'm always going to use it if I can. So what I did is mix it in with this, which I've got with me as my concealer. This is by number seven. It's in the shade Calico. That one, by the way, was in the shade Natural Skin, N052, the foundation. So what I did is kind of do some streaks of this one in between. And then when I blended it all out, it really didn't look too bad, particularly not after I'd powdered. I went obviously a bit heavier under my eyes with that but it did look glowy enough when I'd finished it looks horrific at the moment but you'll see what I mean it's quite a lot of product though but it does sheer out to quite a nice finish so then I just basically made sure that those colours mix together and you'll see when I'm finished I'll probably have to add a little bit more of the concealer in places just to get it how I want it but it really didn't look too bad and it looked quite healthy and glowy because I am so proud it was quite nice to have a bit of colour on my holiday as I say we went to Gran Canaria we've been twice before to different other resorts and we've been on a day trip to the resort we ended up staying in when we were there last time and it's a resort called Puerto Mogan it's probably the most beautiful place in Gran Canaria I think it's almost like a little Venice they call it it's all kind of little bridges and waterways and a harbour with boats you can take boat trips to other places which we did one day but the star of the show is the hotel I'll pop some pictures up so that you can see it because oh, it was just such a beautiful relaxing stay we spent most of the time we were there 10 days spent most of the time just around the pool or having cocktails so I think I need just a little bit more of the concealer just to kind of make things a little bit more my colour but as you can see it's not looking nearly so so bad now I've done that so I popped up quite a few pictures on my Instagram stories if you follow me there you would have seen but the barman at this hotel made the best cocktails we've ever had on holiday and if he made you a cocktail you didn't like he would make you another one and <laughs> We weren't all inclusive, but he was like so wanting us to have a good time that he was paying for the cocktail if he didn't like it. I mean, that only happened to me once because he made me a Long Island iced tea and uh, I'm not so keen on mixing that amount of alcohol together. It just doesn't taste nice, but he made the best Manhattans, the best mojitos and the best margaritas and they're my favourites. So yeah, we just had a fabulous relaxing time and it had been six months since we'd been anywhere and we normally try to go away about every three so 
I had no time off, I was tired and I was just really ready for it, it was lovely. Right, so that's the base done and now that I've kind of mixed the two, I don't think it looks too bad. And it's matte but it's still glowy with like my moisturiser underneath. I'm going to go for cream bronze today, I've not used this in forever, this is the Milk Makeup Bronze Stick in Baked. So I'm going to use that kind of as a contour situation. I don't really put bronzer on my like, forehead like a lot of people do, it just looks weird on me I think. But I'm going to use it as like contour. I quite like this Real Techniques brush for blending out cream products, not used this for ages either. But this blends out so easily so you can't go wrong with this product. It just gives you a little bit more of a healthy glow I think. Never get through it in a million years though because there's so much product in there and you don't need very much at all. And then to set my makeup on holiday I was using this because it's in such a small package and I was trying to find small things to take but I actually quite liked it. So it's the Juvia's Place White Sands Iron Magic Setting Powder. I don't use loose powder too much these days but sparingly doesn't look too bad. So I'm just gonna set under my eyes, my nose and my cheeks because I want to go in with a powder blush and I do get a little bit more shiny on my nose. I've got mostly a normal skin but a little bit combination I guess. I do get a little bit more oily down the centre but not, not a lot. And I like a bit of natural glow to come through anyway. Next up I'm going to go in with this. Bought this a little while ago, just never used it. Story of my life, I've got so much makeup I've not used yet. I save it to use on my channel and I never get around to filming. So that brings me on to some other things I want to talk about. So this is in the shade Playoffs, like a reddish colour. I think it's going to look super pretty. Yeah, I like that. Just blend, oh, got a bit too heavy there. Let's hope that blends out. It's quite a pigmented blush. <laughs> Looks okay though. I would like a fair bit of blush. I like to bring some colour and dimension to my cheeks. Just gonna quickly do my brows and I'll be back. Okay, brows are done. Just use my normal Linda Halberg palette. Probably should treat myself to a new one of these. This is, yeah, I'm <laughs> getting quite old. I think it's five years old now, still using it. Right, I'm gonna do highlighter last, I think, so I wanna decide what color to do depending on how the eyeshadow turns out. So I'm gonna be using this today, which is the Dragon Fruit palette from Cleona and Emily Violet Marie. Now, I really wanted to try Cleona for the longest time there. Shadows are quite expensive. Then they brought out that new palette of multi-chromes, the like piratey kind of inspired one. I can't remember the name now. But I wanted that, but the cost of it was a lot. And then I saw that they'd still got this in stock. And I was like, well, this is a way to try out lots of different formulas. So it is so, so beautiful. Look at it. It's not got any mattes in it, but we're not gonna let that stop us. So I'm gonna be using just this palette today. There are quite a lot of shades that I think will work as mattes that are satin in nature. So yeah, I'm gonna use this today. Just gonna prime with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So whilst we were on this holiday, I did lots of reflecting about life, I suppose, because I've got a lot of time, like 10 days not really going anywhere and just relaxing and, I've been thinking for quite some time about what things I'd like to do in the future because I'm 55 now so it struck me reasonably recently and I don't know if you guys are my kind of age that watch me, I know some of you are and it's not a thought I would have had in my 40s but when I hit like mid 50s I've always thought of myself for the last I don't know, decade or so as middle-aged, and now I'm like, well, I'm not middle-aged, am I? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to live to 110, more than likely, so the best of the years, or more of the years, have gone than I've got ahead of me, and that's quite a scary thought, and it's not a morbid thought, it's a, a thought that you've got to cram in as much as you want to do every day, and make every day make you happy, so we love going on holidays more than anything else and so we've got a lot planned already because we'd already 
been thinking along these lines for a while but I've planned a really special trip and I'm telling you this because it is going to affect my channel quite massively I think so we've booked to go on the Queen Mary 2 uh, with Cunard line and whether you guys know or not there's a, like a tier system so you go Britannia class which is like your sort of standard class and then there's like what would be like I don't know business class sort of flight in comparison with the princess grill suites and then there's queen's grill suites which is upper class and you get the big suite and the butler and yeah really swanky and that's what we've booked so we've booked to go in a queen's grill suite for two weeks it goes from Southampton and back to Southampton but it's two weeks and it has some med stops but it's just such an iconic ship. It's the last ocean liner in the world and I just always wanted to sail on her. And we've put it off for years and years and I thought if I'm gonna do it, I want to do it special, you know, make it so memorable. So we're doing that in April, 2025, but the cost of it is eye-watering. So I'm not gonna be buying any makeup at all next year. I'm going probably to get through the rest of this year, maybe buy some Halloween releases, be quite careful with what I'm buying. But next year I'm gonna go on a total no buy. So, and I'm quite excited about it because I've got so much makeup. I don't think it's going to affect my channel that much because I'm never the first to get videos up in any case. What I like about this palette is they give you a card that tells you all the different formulas and how to use them, which is very useful for someone like me who doesn't like to swatch before I start. So we've got some velvet satin formulas. I'm gonna start with those. So Prickly is one of those, which is the purple in the palette here, this one. So I'm gonna do a bit of a smoky eye today. So that's gonna go over my lid. And because that's the deepest shade, I thought that would be a good place to start. Oh yeah, it is pretty deep actually. So when you first look at this palette, you don't really get a sense of depth, but oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to pack that all over my lid and sort of into the crease as well. I expect everyone's going to be doing pink looks, Barbie looks, because the Barbie movie coming out. No offence to anyone that's excited for the movie, but it's really not <laughs> grabbing me to go and watch that. So, not going to be seeing that. I love Ryan Gosling as well, but I don't know, it's not the sort of role I expected to see him in. Maybe I'm wrong if I went to see it, it'd be good doesn't really appeal but tomorrow we're going to see Oppenheimer and we're going to see it in the IMAX which I've never seen a movie in the IMAX theatre it's 2D my husband doesn't want to see any 3D movies and this movie isn't in 3D in any case and he doesn't want to see the ones where the chair moves I know what he means he wants to just be absorbed in it but IMAX is just bigger, more immersive, better sound I think, so three hour movie, so I thought I'll go on a Sunday, so we've got plenty of time to to watch it without being tired, we can see it in the daytime because I'm not good at staying up late, we're not people that stay up late, we get up at like five in the morning but we're ready for bed by like nine in the evening, that's how we are. This is pretty impressive because I'm not getting much fallout at all. And I haven't put any glitter primer down or anything because I didn't want to make it too sort of shiny. I am going to pop a little bit of multi-chrome in the centre, I think, just to make everything pop. So there's a couple of multi-chromes in this palette, which is another reason why I wanted it. I think it's really a beautiful palette. But for me, when I'm buying palettes to use on my channel, I don't think about it in the way that a lot of people do. I'm not looking to really get the views or to review the latest thing. I'm looking at it, is it something that brings something new to my collection and that I'm excited to own? But I have been buying a lot of things. I've really been enjoying the packaging for Glam Light. So I've got the Rick and Morty collection. I bought that while I was on holiday actually. Uh, I've also got the latest Cosmic Brushes palette and the Delicious Delights and the Highlighter. Oh, and I bought the Melt Dark Matter palette because they had such a good sale and I got it for about £30 delivered. They had free delivery. Yeah, I really like how that's turned out. I need to sort of fluff around the edges of it just slightly. It's blending nicely though. 
love the formula so far. I've wanted to try Cleona for a long, long while, but as I know they've got some of the best multi-chrome, so I wasn't ever really a multi-chrome person that much. I don't feel like I need lots of them. And also they're so expensive to buy and I'm not really into singles and I thought this was a great way to try out their brand. I'm going to use that same shade on my lash line as well. Keeping that really nice and close. I want this to be quite a smouldery look. Just as I say, not what you first would think when you look in this palette. Yeah, so for that cruise on the Queen Mary 2, Cunard is probably the most formal cruise line that exists. I've done P&O before, I've done Royal Caribbean, I've got a Morella cruise coming up at Christmas actually, which we've had planned for a long time, but none of those are quite so formal as Cunard, so they have theme nights like Roaring Twenties, Red and Gold, so I'll be looking for ball gowns and I love dressing up though so I'm really excited and it's like stepping back into a more glamorous and exciting kind of age I think. So it's all art deco decorated and inspired inside. It's got a wraparound promenade deck. Just looks fabulous so very excited. But we've got other holidays land as well. We're going to Crete in six and a half weeks time so that's exciting as well. So as I say we've, we've got so many holidays planned because the pandemic stole a lot of time from us all. I mean I did other things, did things to the house, built our bar in our garden, all sorts of other things but in terms of like all the experiences of life we weren't getting to do those and I think me and my husband were having this conversation where like you don't reflect back on your life and go that was an amazing kitchen I got done or I don't know that was a fantastic car I owned you think about all the things you did in life and I think that's really important to remember when you're coveting buying things things make you happy temporarily but it's your memories of people and places and experiences that's what matters I think more in life and I've certainly started to realize that now so I'm excited for what the future of my life brings. I'm planning to take early retirement, not entirely sure at what age yet, but be before 60. I don't want to go on until I'm 60, so I'll have more time for my channel once that happens, but I'll just be buying less things for it. But still buying some things because I love makeup, as you know. We've got some more velvet satins in this palette. So we've got a green, we've got a pink and like a peachy colour. So we could go for sweetened or strawberry pear or we could go for this green. I think I might go for the green, you know. Yeah, I'm going to go for the green. I think that's called cactus, eh? <laughs> I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. But I'm going to use that just to give us a little echo of green just around the edges. This will end up being a Halloween look if I'm not careful. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I'm just... Just taking that just around the edges. And yes, it has got a sheen to it, but I don't mind that. On my holiday, I took a couple of palettes with me. I took the Jeffree Star Psychedelic Circus. I know probably most of you won't want to see that on my channel, but it was so good to take on holiday because it's got some neutrals in it and quite a lot of pops of colour as well and then I took a Pat McGrath palette with some neutrals as well because I honestly can't be bothered to do anything too creative when it's like 33 degrees centigrade out. We had fantastic air conditioning but as soon as you stepped outside I was just melting. This is sort of acting as a blending shade come brow bone highlight all at the same time, it's kind of weird. I don't think it looks terrible either. I'll be able to sort of mesh that into my highlight, which is why I didn't do the highlight first, because I was like, am I going to go with green out here, or am I going to go out with more pinky out here, and I wasn't quite sure. 
but I think we'll go with green. That's kind of cool, I think. To give it a little bit of pizzazz in the centre, I'm going to go in with this shade here, Bubbles, which is a multi-chrome. I love that they giving you a nice big pan of that. And I'm going to pop just a little smidge of glitter primer just in the centre of my lids, just to help that shade adhere a little bit more and make it pop. In terms of palettes that I've seen sneak peek that I'm excited for, I can't believe that Pat McGrath's bringing out a new pink palette for the mothership for this year. So that's an easy pass until they have a 30 or 40% off, but I probably will get it because I'm a collector. The Ghost Face and Glam Light palette, got to have that. And Gourmand Girls have a new one coming out that looks to be Halloween themed. I love Halloween makeup, so I'll be getting those. But I'm just going to be very, very selective on what I pick up, which I always am anyway. Alright, so I'm just going to pop bubbles in the centre here. Oh, look at it. It's really sparkly. It's the perfect sort of sparkly topper, I think. So I'm just patting that down the centre, just a simple halo moment, really. For highlight today, I'm going in with the Scooby-Doo highlight. The beautiful green sparkly one at the bottom here. I'm going to try and mesh that highlight into the eye look as well because we've got that green going on there. It's very sparkly but not much substance behind the sparkle but it is really really pretty. I'm not going anywhere today so I don't mind if I'm sparkling to the gods. I haven't worn makeup since I got back from my holiday three weeks ago so I feel a bit out of practice. So that's all I'm going to do on camera. I'm going to hop off camera, just put some black in my waterline, I think, and mascara. And I'm going to do my lips with this from Glamlight, the Rick Lip Kit. And I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Really love it. It's my kind of makeup aesthetic. It's got those Halloween spooky vibes going on, even though we're only July. I'm getting very excited for that time of year. And it's raining and grey and miserable outside, so it kind of feels like it could be fall already, to be honest, in the UK. But this palette is so springtime and summery, you wouldn't expect this kind of look from it, I don't think. But I love how it performed. I love that the satins can be sheared out and kind of used almost like mattes. I've used no mattes in this look whatsoever. I've just stepped to the palette. That shade bubbles, oh, it's otherworldly magical. It's gorgeous. And yeah, there's a lot of scope for different things you can do with it, even though it's kind of pink and purple and green leaning. So because it's got so many different finishes, you've got metallics, you've got topper shades, you've got multi-chromes and satins in here. So really really nice palette and not horrendously expensive for the quality of the shades either so now I'm kind of tempted to pick up that other one that's full of their multi-chrome so yeah that's the trouble isn't it when you find something that you really like but I finished off the look just with black in my waterline it's black core by LH Cosmetics one of my favorite black pencils I've got a NYX Epic Ink wing liner I bought a new one of those to take on my holiday and I've gone with the Rick Lip Kit, as I say. I like it because I don't normally like glosses, but having the lip pencil to give you a base underneath and to be able to create that line in the same sort of shade as the gloss, and the gloss is pretty pigmented as well, and the kind of sort of holographic-y, like sparkly. Yeah, I'm really a fan of this formula so far. I don't know how it's gonna wear because gloss just travels on me. It doesn't tend to stay on my lips. It goes into all of these fine lines, but We'll see, I'll have to report back on how that goes, but I think with the pencil it might be okay. But yeah, overall, really love how the look has come out. And it's been nice filming again. I'm always a little bit nervous when I come on camera and it's been so long. It's like, how do you start a video when you've been away for five weeks with no real reason other than you couldn't be bothered to film anything? <laughs> but once I do it, I absolutely love it. And I also want to say thank you so much for always being patient with me. Those of you that have stuck with me for a while, you know I kind of become a bit more absent in the summer because summer makeup's not really my aesthetic. But but yeah, I'm hoping to create a few more looks with things that I've got 
uh, before we get into Halloween season because I've got quite a lot of things I'll say backing up that I just haven't used from the summer that I've I've bought not necessarily new releases things that I just wanted like things from Gimme Glow and whatever so hoping to film with some of those things very soon and hoping to get back to regular scheduling so once or twice a week videos from this point onwards so thank you for watching this one guys and hanging out with me I hope you've been keeping safe and well hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are and hopefully catch you in the next one bye guys yeah.